Hi, this is Wes Fryer, and I am at the ISTE 2011 conference in Philadelphia, and I am with Travis Allen from Fayetteville, Georgia, and Rushton Hurley, who if you don't know, is the is, is Save the World nonprofit is uh, Next Vista for Learning. Great videos there, and and he told me you have a story about a video that you created from a situation in school, and now that's led to a company, and I'd love to hear about that. Yeah, so just to tell you some history, uh, I started using my iPhone as a senior in high school to take notes as a graphic calculator, etc. But I quickly became frustrated with our education system because they told me this was not an educational device. So I decided to do something about it. I created a YouTube video demonstrating the capabilities of a one-to-one -one iPod Touch program. Imagine if every student had an iPod Touch and that was my vision. After watching it go viral on YouTube, that's when I formed the iSchool Initiative, a student-led organization dedicated to revolutionizing our education system through innovative technology. Okay, and you know, I, uh, I saw that, and I even blogged that, I think, when, uh, when that got posted. So what does educational revolution mean to you? If you were to, you know, completely bring about the, the revolution that you have in mind in a school, uh, what would that look like, how it would be different from a traditional school? Well, we've actually called it the specifically the digital learning revolution, a movement of parents, educators, and students coming together and demanding change. And what I see in the classroom is going beyond the classroom walls, school and education that is mobile and becoming lifelong digital learners. That's what we're about. We're about those concepts and that, that idea of becoming lifelong learners. So what has been maybe the most transformative um, learning you've done that is beyond the walls? I mean, when, when you want to tell somebody a story about that learning because sometimes we have trouble picturing it you know we kind of all picture school as we know it so when you have that that image in your mind um, has that been with gaming has that been uh, in collaborative projects you've done is it maybe through that video what what's been a, a real spark for you in terms of collaborative learning that, that's a picture you have in your mind of what you want others to experience in school so um, I take my iPad and only my iPad to all my college classes now I do not own books, paper, pen, anything. I'm completely digital. And that's what my presentations talk about, how it's possible to go paperless and go digital and really where the future of education is. So for me, learning is, is about mobile, but we also love the idea of gaming. I was actually a big gamer in high school. I was not the best high school student, according to the school at least. I didn't make the best grades, but I loved to game. Online games, you know, you name it. And it was actually through... Uh, games like Star Wars Galaxies Online that I, uh, I started my own business when I was 13. iSchool Initiative was not my first business and I was the first uh, millionaire on this game on my server. Um, by a virtual millionaire. A virtual millionaire. And now we're working on real. We're working real now. And now we're working on the real thing. But the skills I learned in on Star Wars game, Galaxies? On Star Wars Galaxies Online, absolutely I'm applying them today. I had 30 year olds working for me in, when I was 13 and I was telling them what to do and, and running my own company and I'm, I'm still doing it today. So these are just some of the ways that I learn as a, as a digital learner. So let's talk a little bit about the iSchool initiative and, and your company. So you, you want to help people get this vision. If somebody contacts you, what kind of uh, services do you all provide? What do you all do? So we're a nonprofit, and we're about empowering students to stand up and take education into their own hands. So there's actually a lot of different things we do. Primarily, we do seminars and workshops showing schools what technology can do in the classroom. We go in and we inspire them to make that change from a student perspective. We're also working on several other things. We create YouTube videos constantly. We are working on a magazine called Go Digital. That's going to be discussing going paperless, mobile learning, all these different things. And uh, we also build case studies. We're about to publish a case study showing in depth how if you buy an iPad as a freshman in college, you will save a minimum of $3,100 over your four years of college through ebooks, graphing calculators, and other things like that. And so this is just uh, some of the things we like to offer, but probably the biggest thing we're working on is I've been a keynote speaker at a lot of conferences, and I've heard the same thing. People are saying we're at an educational technology conference, but where are the students? And so that's what inspired me to have iSchool Initiative host the very first student-led 
student-presented, student-run conference. And we're planning on launching this in April, but it's going to be all about the student perspective. What do students want to see in the classroom? And that's what we're about, empowering those students. So I'll invite you to present potentially at our K-12 online conference. Last year we had a student voices strand, and I'm 100% with you that we need students to be here um, as, as co-learners and as leaders and, and visionaries. So anything you'd, you'd throw out that you, um, in your keynote, what is, what is a key takeaway or that, that when, you, when you want people to walk away from it, you know, you're, you've, you're setting a vision, I think, for what can be done, and so you want people to walk away with that. Uh, beyond that, practically speaking, what kinds of things do you, do you encourage people to do and do you want to see, you know, leaders and educators here do w when they go home? Well, what we usually tell people is that, that anything's possible. You know, we always get, we get uh, teachers and stuff coming to us and say, well, we can't afford these devices. We can't afford this technology. But we usually tell them two things. One, if, if you're really passionate about it, you'll find a way to make it work. We've seen schools, countless schools, where all it took was one teacher who was so inspired to make change that they got the grant. They did what's necessary. And there's also a ton of free resources out there as well. And so we really push that idea on, on schools. The other thing we want to leave them with is ask your students, talk to your students, what do they want to see? That's what we're all about. Your students are passionate about this technology. Why not have them bring their own devices? Why not learn from your students? And, uh, you know, the last thing we, we do talk about uh, is it's not about sharing your best apps. It's not about, you know, well, here's the cool apps available. That's not what our presentation's about. Our presentation is about how we as students are using this device every day in the classroom to revolutionize our education system. Yes. And that's what our presentations focus on, rather than, well, here's the top ten apps. One other thought. Have you met Betty Manchester and, or Angus King in Maine? They have an a, a initiative that they've got in Maine. Have you, have you met them? I've not met them. So we need to get you in contact with them, because a big part, you know, Maine was our first state to say, hey, every middle school student needs a mobile learning device. So um, that kind of networking, and for anybody watching this video, uh, Google iSchool Initiative, look for Travis Allen. Anything else you want to share? Twitter ID? Yeah, I would just like to encourage everybody to join our digital learning revolution. Become part of this movement for change in our education. If you are tired of the way education is done, and, and sign up for our newsletters. Follow me on Twitter, at iSchoolAdvocate, and, and email me. I'd love to hear about what you're doing to make a difference in education. You heard him say it. He wants email. So, <laughs> iSchool initiative, uh, you know, whatever the communication modality. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing your voice. Thank you. We're going to look forward to seeing exciting things from you and iSchool. Absolutely. Right. Thank you. Thank you.